What it do, man? It's James Regato of God Local Genius. Man, let's talk about Big Sean's Tiny Desk performance, man, that he done recently, man. If you haven't seen the Big Sean Tiny Desk performance, man, you got to check it out. I was thoroughly impressed, man. Big Sean, Big Sean looked like he is a happy person right now. And I did not know he was such a great performer. Um, watching Big Sean, you know, over the years, man, and seeing him be a part of that big class with Drake, Cole, Crit, Wale, um, I kind of always liked the Big Sean, you know, for features more so than bodies of work. The only body of work that I really appreciated from him was uh, the Detroit mixtape. And... Tiny Desk was a perfect um platform for him to display his his story storytelling skill set because the way he narrated and um well had the narration going through uh the Detroit tape um he he you know he transitioned that to you know Tiny Desk in each record that he you know told a story on man it was just it was great. He was a he, he did a phenomenal job with the storytelling and also performing. Um a guy by the name Marcel P. Black from Baton Rouge is a MC and his um the biggest thing that he states, you know, with his platform is real MCs shouldn't rap over vocals. Um the phrase is real MCs don't rap over vocals, but he gonna talk about that twenty four seven and to see on Tiny Desk how Big Sean was rapping those records, man, because you gotta if you know Big Sean, you know how many flows he got, and he he puts a lot of syllables in his raps, and you know people those engineers can make you sound so amazing, but to know like he he doing that in one take live, it lets you know like well the engineer doing this thing, but Big Sean ain't. It don't it don't take much work, probably with somebody that talented as an MC, and he was displaying that his levels, man. He was rapping for real, and I really enjoyed. It. He, I mean, he he wasn't running out of breath. He he didn't sound sloppy or nothing. Pause. He he was he was very 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 on point with the performance, man. And I thoroughly enjoyed it, and um, I think this is gonna help people. Who well, not that familiar with his music, you know, become a fan and also want to go see him live. I forgot about some of the records Big Sean had because he didn't even perform like Click, you know, you know, some of his well known like guest features. Like he was really going through his catalog. And, um, one of my favorite records by him is uh, the Play No Games, uh, because Dark Sky Paradise, I think that was like his biggest album. But, uh, yeah, man. I, and another thing that was impressive was his singing. I didn't know Big Sean could sing that well. Like he sounded better live than he did on Wax. I mean, he. But I. But I know Big Sean practices a lot of um spiritual practices, and you could tell like he like really in tune, you know, with God, and he, you know, he in tune with, you know, moving at a higher vibration because he just looks so calm. I think. Janae Iko then put him on some stuff, man, because he just he just looked like, you know, he in a great space. And um I know I know recently people were saying like every you know, Kendrick dropped the um the verse that he did off the um the future album and they felt like it was taken away from um Big Sean's recent uh I don't know what did he I don't know what he put out recently, but they felt like he was taken away and they just felt about but more of the story, I don't think, I don't think, uh, Big Sean is gonna suffer, man, from, from whatever Kendrick doing, because people, people know, like, Big Sean is one of them people, man, you gotta check for. Um, and another thing I appreciated about his performance was he shouted out to his son, you know, he was saying, like, he, you know, he hoped, like, you know, years when he gone and, you know, when his son get older, he can see where he at in his life and, uses as a timestamp to see how much work he had put out um to that point and how people all around the world, you know, subscribe to um his music and, you know, his positivity. So I thought it was uh I thought it was very dope, man. Tiny Disc 
is one of the greatest platforms for musicians and Big Sean is another addition that that's going to be bookmarked and people are going to say you got to check that out. So man, if you haven't seen it, man, tap in and check out Big Sean's Tiny Desk performance, man. I am James Regato, man. And as always, be God level. The genius is in you. Please subscribe to the God Level Genius YouTube channel, man. Once again, I am James Regato. God Level Genius.